So to prepare the motherboard to receive the CPU, all we need to do is lift this retention clip all the way over to the right hand side. Okay, so this is our CPU and what you'll notice is I'm holding the CPU by its sides. And the reason for that is I don't want to damage these gold pins that are on the bottom of the CPU. So if I was to touch the bottom of the gold pins, I could bend them, making our CPU absolutely useless. So when you take it out of the plastic packaging, make sure you hold it by the side so you don't damage the little gold pins on the bottom. One of the other things I want you to notice about the CPU is if you look at the bottom left hand corner, there's a little gold marking on it. None of the other corners on the CPU have this marking. So this is going to be important when we put the CPU in the socket, we're going to want to line this marking up with the marking on the socket. So we put the CPU in the right way round. Okay, so we take a closer look at the CPU socket. And what you'll notice on this corner here, there's a little triangle on the corner of the socket. And there's also a little white mark on the motherboard itself. So this is where we're going to have to line up the mark on the CPU so we orientate the CPU in the socket the right way round. Okay, so I've got the CPU, I've got the mark here lined up with the mark on the socket. So to install it in the socket, all I want to do is hover over the socket and let the CPU fall into the socket. It's really important I don't go pressing down on the CPU because I'm going to bend the pins if it's not lined up properly. So you notice there the CPU just dropped into place and if it doesn't you just want to move it around a little bit till it falls into place. But don't be tempted to push it in because all you're going to do there is damage your pins. Okay so to secure the CPU in the socket all we need to do is close this little lever. And we've now installed our CPU.